Hi guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Natasha and this little guy up here, his name is Ollie. Ollie is a four-year-old squirrel monkey and in today's video I have made some homemade raviolis and we made a little tiny one for Ollie um, this morning so we're gonna see what he thinks of that. Huh little guy. So let's get to it. Okay so before I let Ollie have it, he's like really trying to get at it. I want to show you it because he's probably going to destroy it. But it's just a tiny little thing. Go ahead and eat his little tiny ravioli. Wow, he just like took off the top right away. Straight to the center of the Tootsie Pop. What'd you think, huh? So these are handmade, so everything that I put in it is safe for him to eat. And we do not give him stuff like this very often. It's definitely like a treat for him, which is why he's so excited. His diet mainly consists of fresh fruits and vegetables, um, a little bit of protein, lean protein like chicken or ground turkey, and nuts and seeds bugs. He loves his spiders. Crickets. What'd you think? You inhaled that. Going back to finish. We're on the run. <laughs> so that is mainly what his diet consists of. Is lots of fresh fruits and veggies, greens, healthy fats, and then occasionally he gets things like this or like the baby yogurt puffs or the baby chew puffs. We can't see you. And then he does get fruits. Not too many though. Because they do have natural sugars in them. So we are in North Carolina and we have had some torrential downpours recently. Um, the last couple of days has been super crazy. It'll go from being super hot and nice outside to like hail and crazy amounts of flash flooding. So Ollie doesn't like the rain or the storms. I figured I would get him out today for a little bit longer to let him, I don't know why that's pushed out. We gotta push that back in. We're gonna have to have daddy push that back in or you'll get into that. Huh. So when it does start to rain like that, um, if Ollie's out, we have to put him back in his enclosure just for, um, just to keep everyone safe because he does kind of bug out on them. He does not like storms. Huh. What you're talking? We will be doing Ollie's um, birthday mail video here soon since it is August 1st. Ollie was born the first week of August, so we will probably do that video next week once we have all of the letters and packages from the P.O. Box. And we will do a birthday bash video. Huh, Ollie. I can't believe he's four already. Look how long his tail is. Now, because he is right at that teenage age, um, typically squirrel monkeys aren't considered mature until they are in between three and five years. Now that he's about four, he's getting about there. 
Luke and I don't think he'll get much bigger. I think he'll stay on the smaller side since he was premature and everything, so. Hi. Time flies, huh, Monk? What you doing? He's listening because the air conditioner is making a weird sound. You dropped your toy. Well, you demolished your ravioli. That was a quick, uh, quick minute there, huh? I only made you one. I didn't know if you would like it. Now I know, huh? Yeah, now mama knows. Next time I make fresh raviolis, we'll make you a couple extra. Yeah, stick them in the freezer. Yeah. He's been really liking his belly rubbed recently. And I love petting his belly fur. Let me try it. It's very hard to hold the camera like this, but... His belly fur almost feels like a baby chick when they're fuzzy. And then his top fur feels more like, I don't know, a very short haired cat to me. Luke may, Luke may uh, have a different take on that, but that's how it feels to me. He is very soft. Huh. His head is like kind of fluffy back here. Like this is all just fluff. Like his dome is actually round, but his hair makes it look kind of odd shaped. He likes his head scratched. Huh. The older he gets, the more he kind of mellowing out. So I think he's got the hiccups. You got the hiccups? Yep, you do. I see he's got the hiccups. Oh no. <laughs> you see his little belly? So that's what monkey hiccups look like. That's probably why he's letting me pet him because he don't get the hiccups very often. Probably like, what's going on? He likes the back of his ears rubbed. Oh, his chin. Yeah. Oh no, monkey hiccups. That ravioli got you, huh? It's all right, it's all right. Oh man, I feel bad for him. I know it's it's not hurting him or anything. It's just probably weird for him because he don't understand. <laughs> oh no. Well, if you've ever wondered what it looks like when a monkey gets the hiccups, there you have it, y'all. <laughs> what you doing? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. We will see you in the next video. Bye.